is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I trust and hope that you have been enjoying your day. So I'm going to be focusing on Invest 94L in this update because we know for a fact that this could be trouble for the Caribbean down the road, maybe around this time next week. So we're going to be looking at the latest. I want to highlight some important things and talk about the influences of the track of the system, whether it could turn before making its way into the Caribbean or not and so we'll be talking about that but before I go into it again I am emphasizing the eclipse that will be taking place tomorrow so again the link to my video on my second channel weather extras is pinned in the comments down below I elaborate on all you should know and what every island will be seeing at the maximum but if you're in Jamaica because I know that the vast majority of my viewers are from Jamaica so uh, for us it is going to be starting just after 11 a.m but around 12 54 p.m at least in montego bay that is going to be the peak of the eclipse meaning that most of the sun will be blocked out that's what we're going to be seeing at maximum before it starts returning to normal so the entire duration of the eclipse is just over three hours or so again you can go ahead and watch that video for a lot more details even on what a uh, solar eclipse is and the different types of eclipses as well and so now let's get straight into the meat of the matter so we're looking at the satellite imagery first off and here we can see that much isn't happening across the Caribbean so for most of us it has been a pretty sunny day for the most part maybe with some overcast conditions or a passing shower but nothing too crazy as we head into parts of Central and South America though there are some thunderstorms popping up here and there nothing too crazy for some areas as well so there is some dry air in the Caribbean let's switch to the dry air map and there we can see it so the dry air is kind of helping to stabilize uh, environmental conditions so there isn't all that rise in air motion and instability to actually result in the formation of a whole lot of showers and thunderstorms so that is why it is so hot and dry for a lot of us uh, as we look back at a wider view here we can see that there is tropical storm Sean which is barely hanging on to tropical storm status so uh, as of when I'm recording this the latest update from the National Hurricane Center is not yet in it should be by the time the video was posted though so maybe it will be downgraded to a tropical depression at the time but it is battling some wind shear it's not even producing a whole lot of showers and thunderstorms so I am expecting that it will be downgraded either in this update uh, this evening or the, uh, the update later tonight but then look into the coast of Africa and to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands there we see all that activity now that is in association with Invest 94L so that disturbance is likely to continue westward for the next couple of days and it will try to develop into something as we're going to be heading to maybe the middle uh, the middle part of next week so around Wednesday or so it might achieve tropical depression status eventually becoming a tropical storm that is highly likely right now and the next name to be used for the season is Tammy so this is likely future Tammy we're looking at here and again it could be a problem for the Caribbean yesterday models were showing it making an approach as a hurricane some models wanted to show a major hurricane approaching but uh, we'll be talking about conditions and again the influence of whether or not this is going to be a major issue for the eastern caribbean so firstly let's go on to the latest from the national hurricane center and here we can see that the formation chance is up to 80 percent 80 percent chance of development as we're going to be heading into the next seven days and a low 20 percent chance for the next two days so it is unlikely that we'll see imminent formation of the system however as we're going to be heading into uh, again the middle of next week it could acquire that tropical depression status eventually becoming a tropical storm and so guys now we want to go ahead and take a look at the sea surface temperature map again it is very very warm across the Caribbean and even in the main development region we can see some of those pink shading so temperatures up to 30 31 degrees and at the minimum tropical cyclones would require around 26 degrees celsius so they're well on their way to support development again that shear is still pretty strong but conditions should gradually become more and more conducive to favor development of the system now what is going to be steering it to the west well that is the work of the high pressure so that subtropical high that is what usually steers these systems to the west when they're dominant so why to the west you may ask well that is because because
So winds within a high pressure area or high pressure system rotate in a clockwise fashion. So we find that they steer these systems to the west, oftentimes into the Caribbean, and sometimes they may actually manage to make it over into the eastern Pacific, or they curve once they reach the West Caribbean or even the Central Caribbean. They make that curve up to the north. Now, we're going to see some interesting things happening over the next couple of days because as we even head into uh, more of the season of autumn and even going into winter as well there are all those fronts coming out of the u.s now when that usually happens uh that allows for a weakness in that high which allows these systems to turn out that is why they may move west for some time before making that curve up and out so the timing of whenever that front is going to be moving through is going to be of essence the longer it takes and the more of a dominant high there is, the more the disturbance is likely to move into the Caribbean before making that turn. So that would put Eastern Islands at risk, the Lesser Antilles, head into the Virgin Islands, even Puerto Rico. I'm not saying that will happen for sure because we're still about a week out from any sorts of impacts if there will be any. So we always have to talk about possibilities and that is why I always stress that there can be changes because it's the weather we're talking about. It's always changing. But the trend is that some of these models that go on to the euro and the GFS ensembles. So starting out with euro, there we can see that there is a bit more of that trend to the west northwest and the northwest. So members are not showing the system, making it very far into the Caribbean or even reaching the Caribbean. We see a decent amount of these showing that hey, this will be curving up before it reaches. But we should note that each of those lines you see, those members are to track the center of the system. Look at Philippe for example. It was all the way up north in the vicinity of the Leeward Islands and it brought impacts as far south as Barbados. I remember the thunderstorms that you guys are talking about in the comments. So we also have to take that into consideration. It's to track the center, not the size of it. So if we're talking about a disheveled system, a shared system, then there could be widespread impacts across Caribbean islands. But again, no guarantee of that happening. Going on to the GFS members. Now, by the way, the GFS model has been the first to show more of that North West, we're tracking the system missing the Caribbean, but there is no absolute guarantee. Again, timing of the front, whenever there's going to be that weakness out there for the system to escape up to the north, that is going to be of essence as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. So we definitely have to keep watching it. There could still be impacts in the Caribbean, uh, even with that heavy rainfall, which we know may trigger a flood. And I know that some areas desperately need the rain and the relief from all the heat that we have been experiencing, but a trough tropical storm or hurricane can seriously do some damage because a lot of heavy rainfall in a short amount of time can do more harm than good. But I will keep track of the system for you guys as per usual. And that is pretty much it for this update. So I trust and hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, as always, please do leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you once I can. And remember to be weatherwise.